What is going on everybody? This is Major League Hats and we're continuing on with our countdown to the best Gulpa hat of 2019. If you guys haven't already checked out the first two video rankings, please go check them out. I'll even put the links here at the end. But I'm doing the rankings in anticipation of the 2020 Gulpas. I can't wait till they come out uh, either later this month of February or early March. That is the projected date for them to be released. But before we get going on with the ranking, don't forget guys that um, I'm an affiliate partner of Hat Club and I'll leave the link down at the bottom. So if you guys use that link to purchase something on Hat Club, it'll help out the channel a lot. And of course, don't forget, if you want to become a Patreon member, that link is on the bottom. And please follow me if you're not already following me at Major League Cats on Instagram and YouTube. I'd appreciate it a lot. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get on to it. I have said this probably a number of times already, but I'm going to be honest, guys. This was uh, one of the hardest kind of like ranking systems I've had to do in a sense. It's like asking me, what is my favorite hat in my collection? That's almost nearly impossible to say. Luckily, I have a couple of really special hats that I find that are ultimately number one and two in my collection. But to try to rank these overall, I, I know I'm going to get some hate, but that's okay. I would like you guys, if you guys aren't already doing it, please leave a comment. If you guys like the order that I have these in, or if you would have went in another order but only rank the current hats that I'm showing because I do have the other hats coming up so by the time we get to the last video then you can let me know what your top 15 or 20 Gulpa hats are also by leaving a comment that also helps me know who has been watching my videos and that just gives me a little information for who knows what but at least it shows me you're watching my videos so make sure you go and do that and also leave a thumbs up if you don't mind helps out the channel a lot all right you guys let's get going so coming in at number 39, we got, bam, the West Michigan White Caps, also known as the Calavadas de West Michigan. Uh, this logo itself is actually a pretty cool logo. There is a lot going on on this hat to really tell what is going on. Uh, if anything, here's the impression I get, and I could be wrong, so let me know what you guys think. But the logo itself looks like a skull head. Here's the mouth. Here's the teeth. Uh, this little wave is kind of making up his jawbone. And then this part of the upper part is making up, of course, the skull head. You got the 616 backwards. So you got your two eyes and your nose. And then you have the MW right there. You got some ball seems right there to give that Dia de los Muertos effect. It actually is a really cool logo. There's just a lot going on. It's highlighted with some uh, neon yellow on the outside of the uh, logo itself. You got the neon yellow eyelets, the blue button, blue New Era flag, blue bill. On the back you have all the incorporated colors right there with that nice sweet orange crown. Black and black. 100% polyester made in China. So I just felt like uh, if this was a little more detailed in the logo itself, I feel like I would have put it a little bit higher. But I think 39 is a good ranking for it. Coming in at number 38 is, bam, the Iowa Cubs, also known as the Demones de Des Moines. This one, honestly, uh, yeah, I mean... In the Hispanic uh, community heritage, the representation of a devil probably wouldn't be the best uh, thing to represent the Hispanic community in the local area. Uh, even though I really love that logo, check out that logo. I just don't know if it would be the right fit uh, to represent the Hispanic community. Overall though, it's a very nice design, nice hat. I would have went more with a, a redder bill right here and maybe a little bit more red on the face instead of this like light pinkish color but I like the uh, eyelets they actually look a little more red than the bill and the face and then the little red button like I said there's like a, a slight difference on the color for some reason but you got like a pinkish new era flag on the back it's like a, a red pinkish navy and white minor league little guy so check that out let me know if you guys do see the difference on the colors of the red I mean to me it just looks kind of weird like they either wanted the red and like light pink to be a different color or light red to you know stick out but you know i don't know it looks a little weird overall though logo design is actually freaking pretty awesome you have some nice gray uh 
accents right here you can clearly see the nose the eyes little beady eyes right there the horns and he's got his little devil beard right there so great logo i just don't know if this was a good representation if you're trying to pay homage to the hispanic community in your area i just i, I don't see it working on this one guys all right coming in at number 37 we got the bam the arkansas travelers the montes the arkansas uh, this one, it's not bad. It's kind of a little confusing what you're kind of looking at in a sense. I do like the colors. That's why it kind of gets a little bit higher in the rankings. But you have basically, my, here's what I'm seeing, like a mariachi guy. He's not showing his eyes or anything. He's got his little beard. He's got his mustache right here. You know, the handlebar mustache. He's got his big sombrero hat going on. It just kind of looks a little weird with no eyes. I think if they would have like tipped the hat down to cover the face so the eyes wouldn't be a factor. I think that would have been better because uh, you do see that a lot. I love the colors though with the green brim, the partial red crown right here, the yellow and then the green button. You have a red new era flag. On the back you have all the colors incorporated with the green, the white and the red. So it looks really good. Black and black underneath. Uh, made in China. 100% polyester. So this one like I said, I like this one only because mostly the colors. I just feel like uh, you know they could have did a little bit more better on the detail. Like I said, like if they tipped the hat down that would have been an awesome representation of the Hispanic community. Alright, coming at number 36 is we have BAM the Hickory Crawdads also known as the Lomas the Hickory and this one is just really cool I love the fun colors on this one uh, he's chewing I'm assuming like on a little drumstick or something like that or you know a stick in general that you use to play an instrument I love this aqua greenish color right here I love the vibrant colors I really like on how they did with the eyelets on this they did different colors they got a yellow they got a pink a white the aqua green the baby blue and the light orange right there actually it's pretty cool that they did that aspect i don't think i've ever seen that done where each eyelet was a different color you got this uh baby green i think it's supposed to be the aqua green but it's hard to tell because it looks almost like if it could be the blue because it doesn't really match the brim. So I'm going to go with the blue on that one. And if you can see, yeah, I'm going to say it's the blue. But I'll, I just love this one with all the vibrant colors on the llama, his little hat that he's wearing, everything. And he's got something in his mouth that he's chewing on that he's going to spit out. The uh, minor league guy on the back is a little to be desired because they went with the aqua green, the black, and the white. So like they did all the vibrant colors on the front, but you know, the minor league little guy, they kind of left him out. So yes, that's a little down, but I mean, that's the only negative. I would have to say though, the key component of this hat is the totally different colors on the eyelets. It's freaking awesome. Made in China, 100% polyester. Coming in at number six is we got, bam, the Nashville Sounds, otherwise known as the Vigila, the Nashvilles. This one is just a really cool thing to represent the Hispanic community with the instruments on there. Obviously, the Hispanic community, there's a lot of instruments involved. So there you go. It just fits in. You're going to see that in a lot of these Copa hats if you haven't already. But uh, love the two panel on here with the white and the pink. The eyelets in the front are pink and the back are pink as well. So pink all around. You got that teal blue right there. Looks nice. You got that teal outlining right there. So that looks cool. Not too bad. Love the details on the little guitars. You know, with the little Dia de los Muertos type aesthetic -y type paintings lines. And then also right at the bottom, and I'll show you a little picture, but you have the seams of the baseball. And then on the other side, you have the baseball right there in the middle. So that is actually a freaking nice little touch that they get those in there. Uh, in the guitars and then you have like the strings coming up and it's basically in the shape of a bat and almost looks like it's in the shape of a spatula so if you didn't see that already maybe even a violin check out those stems right there looks really nice navy brim could have did a little bit better coloring on the brim maybe if they would have went with the pink it would have been cool or a nice teal color that would have been freaking awesome the minor league guy on the back is a nice aqua blue i guess it's like a blue color uh, aquamarine type color navy black and black underneath so here is the minor league little guy right there of course it is a seven and five eights made in china 100 percent polyester 
I would have to say the fit on these have been pretty consistent. So I would have to say they are true to size. So you could just order the ones that you like. Coming in at number 34 is the band Charleston River Dogs, also known as the Ferros Santos the Charleston. It's a Yankees affiliate. Really nice. Uh, you know, I want to knock this a little bit because this is almost not that much different from their normal logo. But the fact that uh, they gave it to this Muerto style look in the dog's face uh, with the stitched mouth, the halo over the dog. Uh, you got the little, you know, tree right there in the middle of his uh, forehead right there. Um, I, for artistic purposes, that's kind of why it probably got so high because other than that, it's almost like their normal logo. I like the colors. It's a nice uh, aqua. Damn it. What do you call this color? I mean, it's a blue, but it's not a blue. Uh, and it's, um, yeah, it's a teal, I guess. It's another teal. Let me know if I'm wrong. You got some yellow on the new air flag. Yellow button. They should have went yellow with the uh, eyelets right there just to heighten the I, fact that the uh, outlining on the Charleston River Dog and the halo or yellow that would have looked really nice and then on the back you have a yellow black and white minor league little guy so they did a good job on that but the only reason that this got to number 34 was because of the artistry in the logo itself so not too bad all right guys trust me guys I had a tough time doing this so I hope you guys appreciate this as we count down to number one all right coming in at number 33 is we got BAM the Alotes de Clinton otherwise known as the Clinton Lumberjacks and uh, I'm gonna be honest guys this uh I don't want to say this was one of my favorite logos because it did get in the 30 rankings but this is seriously a favorite of mine because uh if you guys don't know we love eating our lotes uh, on a stick we usually get some uh, mayonnaise and some chili and you put it all on the lote the corn and it's so freaking good i can't tell you how many times that uh i've eaten one of those as a kid and, and they're really good even though it doesn't maybe look the best with the mayonnaise and the chili but it tastes so freaking good okay so for the hat itself you have that neon pink you got that neon pink on the outlining of the elote man you got his little corns you know uh tusk husk right there his little leaves right there he's holding the baseball bat he's got that little grimace of a smile right there you can see the whiteness for the manis and the little spreckles i'm assuming for the chilies and then at the middle of his forehead kind of where his eyes are at you have an e for elote you got some nice neon pink eyelets a yellow button they're in nice subtle colors it's not too out there per se it's a nice colors nice subtle pink right there on the back you have a nice pink and yellow white minor league little guy so check out the elote batter man he is just freaking awesome let me know in the comments if you ever tried one of the elotes with the manis and the chili as a kid they're freaking good and if you haven't tried one don't knock it till you try it because it's actually really good usually they have a guy depending on where you live or even the flea markets you might attend they actually have people usually selling the elotes there and you can pick them up that way usually cost maybe i don't know back in my days it was like a dollar so maybe because of inflation you're probably looking at like two bucks three bucks but man i remember those as a kid and uh they were really good so we got the clinton elotes coming in at number 30 three coming in at number 32 and uh this one has a little little thing to my heart and we have the bam the midland rock hounds also known as the mata moscas the Midessa. and the reason why they call it Midessa, and i didn't even actually know this until i did some research but i guess where the team is possibly located it's like midland odessa texas so they have it kind of combined of mid Dessa. So, yeah. But anyway, so this one has a little, you know, soft spot to me. I did do a fun little video on the Mata Mosca uh, logo itself. So you probably already seen this. But uh, I can't tell you the number of summers I spent going around the house and trying to kill the flies with the fly swatter. So really like this one. Uh, unfortunately, this is a good representation, in my opinion, of the Hispanic community. Because unfortunately, we're always leaving the doors open and the flies are always coming in the house. So you just, uh, you know... I don't want to say it brings a smile on my face in a sense, but it brings a smile on my face. Just kind of seeing this logo because it's a fun logo. And like I said, I spent a couple summers 
chasing the flies around the house with my fly swatter. So you have a bent fly swatter right there. He's got his little eyes right there. And then you see the little fly right there. He's trying to swat it. So you see the little lines that's coming through the air and it's making the little pound sound. So it looks really cool. Let me know what you think. I love the fact that it has the white background, the uh, aqua blue baby blue right there on the eyelets the baby blue on the crown the neon green neon green on the back you have a weird kind of color for the batterman it's a navy it's a lime green and it's white for the batterman so i feel like that uh, navy color is a little weird i know that they really could have probably put uh, more white right there so they had to put something maybe if anything maybe they could have just threw in a little yellow over the navy but oh well underneath they got the black black 758 made in china 100 percent polyester now the only reason this didn't get maybe like a higher ranking is because i'll be honest guys i don't know if i was the only crazy one chasing flies like i said i believe most uh, hispanic dudes do do it as or most hispanic kids do do it uh but i do remember going into houses and stuff and they would have their normal little fly uh sticky tapes hanging from the ceilings and uh, like at my dad's ranch and stuff but uh, for me i was always chasing the flies so i don't know let me know if you guys did it but that's why i got like number 32 because i felt uh that there was better logos that represent the hispanic community so let's go on to the very last one of this video and coming in at number 31 is the bam the Aussie lotes the green burrow so this is a very nice one it's a good logo not really sure other than it's their mascot he's in uh, like a artistic type pose uh, with the colors everything he's holding a baseball bat the artistry on it and the coloring on it is really good so that's why i got high i just like the uh, background with the black the lime green again uh, matches with the one we just put on the mata moscas right there got a lime green button lime green new era flag on the back though you do have a nice yellow white and lime green minor league little guy uh, I hope they do more with this next year because uh, overall, the only reason it got so high, like I said, is I like the artistry of it. Uh, let me know if you guys think it got too high of a ranking. Check it out though. Overall, it's got a nice teal outlining. Love the fact that the uh, bat is a little clawed up because he's got his long claws and the tip of the bat kind of looks broken. If not, it's supposed to have like a little shadow, I guess. To me, it looks splintered. And then he's got his ground teeth. He's got his uh, teal eye right there. It's just, like I said, on an artistic standpoint, it looks really good. So there you go, you guys. That is the ranking. Let me know what you guys think so far of the ranking. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you give a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit your notifications. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram. And if you ever want to help support the channel, hit up my Patreon page or use my affiliate link for Hat Club. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is Major League Cats out. See you in the next Sculpa Ranking. Bye.